Stories that teach us how to accept, accept and love ourselves. We just saw that. I already have more self-acceptance from that. Thank you. They've, Reading Time with the Queens has been an, around since 2017. Inspiring love and acceptance. And they put on monthly programs in Pocatello and Idaho Falls. They've expanded. They're a two-city, bi-city. Bi yep. But in addition to running this nonprofit, Joe has partic participates in several queer performance groups. One, I have the honor of being in them, in with them. And in addition to that, they spent this last winter, spring, fall, the last legislative session, fighting against some pretty horrible bills that were coming through by organizing a grassroots campaign and distributing over 5,000 postcards for Patrick Drag in Idaho. There are pins at our swag table that we're giving away that say Protract Dragon Idaho. So make sure you go get one of those. We are a strong community, but strong communities need strong leaders. And Miss Callie is one of the most strong and compassionate leaders and people I have ever had the honor of knowing. Please everyone thank me, join me in thanking Joe for all their hard work. Hi, I came up here so I could give an impassioned speech not to accept an award. I didn't know that was happening. I had some inklings, but no, I have some things to say to you. Thank, first of all, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I, this last uh, legislative session has been extremely difficult for all of us. As a drag performer, you know, we were kind of waiting for bills to drop uh, that would make it really difficult for us to do reading time with the queens and do things like pride. Um, and drag is a big part of that, so that was really important, but I think what's even more important, honestly, is the attacks that have ha been happening and frankly succeeded in our state legislature. So I just have some things I'd like to say to get us pumped up, because it's, it's not going to get better just yet. So here we go. This is a, I've done a lot of talking today to, to the kids. Right now I'm talking to you, the adults. Do you remember what it was like when you were a kid? A gay kid, a trans kid, a kid who was a little bit different. Do you remember other kids around you who are maybe just a little bit different? Because I think that adults sometimes forget. We were waiting and holding on through that period of our lives, childhood, being a teenager, until we grew up so it could be better. It gets better, is what we were always told. When I grew up, it changed. It doesn't get better. You get better. I think that that is true. I'm gonna take it a step further for you today. If you could go back in time, and as was said by Ayesha Siddiqui, be the person you needed when you were younger, what would you give to that younger self if you could? You know what you needed. I bet you could name three things that would have made your life easier as a kid, as a gay kid, as a trans kid, as a kid who was a little bit different. Even if you didn't know it was something that you needed back then, you know now. So what would you give to that kid? We are not living in the past, unlike our dissenters. We are here and now. We can't go back and change things for our younger selves. But we can change things today. My challenge to you is to identify that thing that you needed when you were younger and give it to the kids around you. For me, it was knowledge and hope. I could not explain who I was when I was a kid because I was denied the stories of my queer ancestors. And so, I tried to give that. I hope that kids come to reading time to learn the knowledge that was denied to me and find the peace that I needed when I was younger. They learn about Harvey Milk and the community he fostered and can live in it. They learn that they can be themselves and love themselves and love their neighbor and uplift 
their neighbor. I want to look at the kids who were just like me when I was young and give them pride. Pride. Pride is what we make of it. Will this be another block party this year? Another gay street fest? Or will we recognize the moment we are currently in and make it better? Will we use it to stand together, become a family, make our voices heard, come rain or come shine, and be the person that we needed when we were younger? Let me also say this. If you stoop to the level of our dissenters and wish as much harm on them as they wish on us, they have already won. So don't. It messes with your thoughts and don't let them infect you with the same hate that infects them and fuels them. It is difficult to do reading time lately. We started in a library and it was just a wonderful time and we read children's books and I didn't think anything of it. I thought, these are where my talents are needed and I did it. Lately, sometimes I go to reading time and I'm a little bit scared. But I have decided that I can be scared and brave. That, that is the definition of courage. And it sucks that making the, defin the decision to be the person that I needed when I was younger comes with so much backlash that people with no hobbies make anger and hatred their hobby. But I do not care. I wake up at 5 a.m. on Saturday morning and I put on a face of makeup and dress up in a unique costume because I want these kids to know that an adult cared so much about their well-being and happiness that they put in the time and effort to make an hour of their day special. I show up so that these kids can see me and my friends being happy, healthy adults and they know that they too can grow up and be happy, healthy adults. This is how we make our community better so we are not living to fight for our rights but living to be ourselves as is our right. I truly believe that when we come to pride, when we stand together and create a better world, the world that we needed when we were younger and these kids need now, we are building God's kingdom and when we leave, we take that love and we spread it into the community for generations to come. This next year is not gonna be so fun. So I need you to get ready for that right now, right here at Pride. Get ready to share information about what's going on with others, to give money to those who need it, to write to your legislator, to vote for people that care about us, to get out into the street and make your voices heard. Keep that in your mind and on your heart. Be the person you needed when you were younger. Lead with love, and we will thrive with pride. Thank you.